Namaste So Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful fire signs. Happy weekend. Hope you guys are well and safe. This is for my Aries Leo Sagittarius watching this video. I love you guys my beautiful fire signs. Okay. I pulled a couple cards just to see the main energy for this reading. I also have some channel messages. And this reading is really going to blow your mind, okay? Because some of you guys, some of you guys feel like you're living in the supernatural, okay? The supernatural where um, demons and witches and uh, warlocks and freaking vampires and wolves and demonic energies or monsters and beasts, they all exist, okay? So yeah, a lot of you guys are in the fourth, um, a lot of you guys are in the fourth dimension or in the 4D because you're ascending rapidly. But when you're in the fourth, guys, when you're in the fourth dimension, you see things. Be, you see things outside the veil. You can understand things outside the box. You can really put things together and see that there is a supernatural um, realm that we don't see with our two eyes. But when you have this major awakening, you start to see it, okay? You start to see these things that you can't explain. It's like you can't make it up, okay? And when I say that... You basically, you see people in your community, you see people at the gas stations, at the corner stores, at the supermarkets, at the restaurants, people that you're actually dealing with outside in the, in the, in the, in the world, in your communities, they seem to be acting real funny or they seem to be doing things or saying things or acting out of character. They, they seem to be shape-shifting in front of you guys. You guys are sensing their darkness. And that is spooking some of you guys out, the way they stare, okay? That's another thing, the way they stare at you guys, fire signs. So this reading is going to pertain to that energy, okay? Fire signs, get out the watchers, okay? So that's what I heard when I was channeling your messages. The watchers, get out, okay? This family or community is involved in a secret society, Wow. Okay, so some of you guys are awakening to this. Some of you guys are getting spooked out or like not even only spooked out. You guys feel like you're in the twilight zone. That's what I heard. I heard twilight zone. Yeah, you guys feel like you're in the damn twilight zone because people are acting weird as hell around you. When you come around them, they're shape-shifting. It's because of your energy. It's because you guys walk with the legion of angels and, and ancestors. So wherever you go, these legion of angels and ancestors in the spirit realm are walking with you. They're with you. And these people that are staring at you guys and look spooked when they see you or they act nervous and they, they just be acting weird as hell. It's like you're, the legion of angels that you're with is mirroring their demons out of them. So you guys can pay attention to these people who they are. They're not really human beings, okay? Not everybody that's amongst you is a human being. Not everybody is has a God DNA. Not everybody's chosen. I mean, not everybody has um, a soul, an actual soul. Some people are soulless beings, okay? And they're just like a meat suit with a whole entity inside of it controlling the meat suit. So you guys are, are starting to realize this and it's kind of like the supernatural Kind of like that show, okay? So if you guys never watched the show Supernatural on Netflix, please go watch it, okay? There's a lot of messages in that show for you guys, okay? The Supernatural on Netflix and also The Watchers. This is another show that's on Netflix, The Watchers. And you guys should go watch that as well because these shows give you subliminal messages of what actually happens in this earth, okay? What actually is going on behind the scenes, okay? So they put it in a show so you guys don't believe it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we've been we we've been we've been fooled all our lives by watching TV thinking that it's fake, that's just a show, that's just a movie. Well, I think that's a bunch of BS and I think they put things in the movie subliminal messages. So go watch that show The Watchers and the show Supernatural, okay? But you guys are feeling like you want to get out of this community, like you want to get away from this family or you want to leave this partner that you're with. Or like, yeah, because you feel like you're being targeted, okay? You're going into hermit, which is you're, you're having a soul awakening. You're having a, a activation of your DNA, okay? You're accessing your Akashic records, and you're going into your protective nest. And this is the main energy here. You're going into your protective nest, and you're detaching from these energies around you that have this demonic energy or attachment to you guys that, you know, just love to sabotage and confuse you guys. Wow, yeah, and the ten of um 
The Ten of Pentacles is basically like some of you guys are wanting to leave a whole family behind, even in a relationship. The person you're with or the person you were dealing with, you feel like they were dealing with, um, they were working against you with your family or they are actually um, demonic or they have this dark energy. Some of you guys want to walk away from that too and want to go into protective mode. A lot of you guys are deciding to get a divorce in this season, okay? For some of you guys that have been married or in separation but you still married, you guys need to let that go. That's that's keeping you stuck from your destined soulmates, okay? If it's not working out, it's, it's time to clear it out, right? Yeah, so um, I'm getting that a lot of these people in your neighborhoods, fire signs or in your community, these people work in gas stations, like I said, restaurants, different places you go. These people are non-believers. They're like atheists, okay? So their job is to watch you. Everything you do is to target you, gang stalk you. Um, yeah, it's like to try to um, attach their, their um, dark energy to you. They try to um, be involved in your life or they're trying to be involved in your life, okay? Some of these people are involved with even crooked officials are being body snatched and body hacked. Wow. They're, they're energy vampires, but some of these people are ener they're, uh, literal vampires. Some of these people eat um, flesh. That's what I heard. They eat human flesh or they eat flesh and they also drink blood. So pay attention to those two shows that I told you to watch because a lot of these messages, yeah, you can get a lot of messages from those two shows right there. Yeah, target you. They want to target you. They want to stalk you, gang stalk you, weird cars just parked up everywhere you go with tinted windows. The watchers, they're always watching you. These watchers are in the Bible, people. Wow. So these watchers are in the Bible and the people um, that are um, being body snatched in this earth, in this realm by demons. This was predicted in the Bible. This was literally, they wrote about this in the Bible. I'm not sure what chapter it was, but they wrote about the watchers. I'm not sure if it was in the book of Enoch or not, but the watchers. It tells you about, like, it's a prophecy about when the chosen ones have their major awakening, that um, when the earth is going through a transition, when, um, basically, when we're meant to ascend, that's when the watchers come. That's when the watchers are all activated on earth. So, yeah, that's the supernatural that you guys are starting to understand about now. Be careful where you're eating at, and, yeah, be careful where you guys are going to eat, because they could be putting things in your food. Um, these people, these watchers, they work in restaurants, they work in gas stations, they work in supermarkets, they work in different places. So be mindful where you're eating your food. Just make sure you prepare your own meals around this time. If you, if you, if you don't have to go out to eat, it's good to prepare your own meals, right? Yeah, because you have a legion of angels and ancestors walking with you and these people, they see it. They just stare at you because they know that you're walking with a legion of angels, in the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. So let's get some messages. See what's coming towards you guys. Fire signs. Okay. The supernatural events that are happening in your life. You can't make that up. It's because you have awakened your third eyes. Okay. So when you wake up your third eyes, you start to see connections. Okay. And situations for what they are. Yeah. Some of you guys are starting to call judgment on people. They just continu continuously putting swords in your back continuously trying to target you, trigger you, do things to confuse you, okay, with all this witchcraft and spell work and illusions and confusions, okay, walking away from a toxic connection that's no longer working and benefiting you guys is here, okay, so some of you guys could be detaching from a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you could be detaching from a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this situation is not working out, okay, you guys can see through the veil, you guys can see this person really is, and that they don't have your best interest, okay? Wow. Some of you guys are dealing with this person or these people that are questioning your spirituality. They're making a mockery out of it, they're questioning it. They're making you seem like you're crazy or that your spirituality is not of God or not of light, okay? These could be religious people or a religious person, but the King of Wands in reverse. This could be a main um, Aries, Leo, or Sag that you're dealing with. This could be a main male in your life that you guys need to walk away from, whether this is a person in love, a partner, a lover. Um, this could be an ex, a lover, a, a father figure, a brother. This is a male energy in your life that you guys feel like you're walking away from. This person is toxic or demonic, okay? This person has been keeping you stuck for a long time. This person also has been blocking your love life and your connections. 
and you're um this person wants to control how your life turns out wow you guys are headed moving forward okay with the chariot you guys are moving forward but there's there's some there's this energy is coming towards you or you're literally getting in your chariot and you're moving at a distance or you're taking a trip you're you're getting away from them you're getting up I, I heard get out yeah you're getting out okay you're getting out okay yeah you're looking forward you're moving forward you're seeking um you're seeking a new adventure or you're seeking a new life you're seeking to start over you're seeking to build something new and this energy is, is gaining its momentum this energy has been gaining momentum in your life for a while now okay fire signs aries leo and sagittarius sun moon rising north node or venus okay yeah there's a queen of cups here that's holding on for dear life okay this queen of cups could be holding on to your energy for dear life or this queen of cups could be holding on to a masculine here okay this could be a mother figure or someone that this person is with wow okay so there you go this queen of cups could be holding on to this masculine for the wrong reasons and it's gonna backfire on this person because this this masculine is dark or demonic and also this these two people could be working together in your life this could be your mother figure this could be someone's um karmic they have children with this could be um an ex-lover a family member a father figure a brother these people are working together so there's a fire sign and a water sign that are working together okay to block out your love life to block your money to hold on to your energy wow they're watching you that's what i heard the watchers they're watching okay yeah they're watching they're watching you celebrate okay that's what they're watching that's why they're holding on to your energy because they're watching you have some sort of glow up some sort of uh beautiful blessing going in your favor something that you've been working on turning out successful people looking at you admiring you being seen in the public eye whatever taking off making moves for the future wow and these people feel stuck and bound because they tried to hold on to your energy and they try to do something, cause some sort of confusion and illusion, but now they're stuck and bound with the same energy. They was trying to they was trying to project towards your life, but you're over here moving forward. Because like I said, you guys had a major awakening to this. You see the truth now, so now you're like, I'm getting out of here. So you're not going back or you're not letting these people block you anymore. Yeah, this cycle has ended and this has been completed by your ancestors. It's time for you guys to get on your purpose, on your mission, to go on to your journey, okay? So that way you can reap good karma, so that way you can reap uh, the rewards of your destiny, okay? Because you guys have a destiny that's a very powerful destiny. You guys also also have powerful ancestors watching you guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah, they, they purposely wanted to self-sabotage you, purposely wanted to leave you with this energy, purposely wanted to ruin everything that you built okay and knock it over but the divine always had a plan you always had two cups back here and you're walking away from the conflict arguments and fights with these people you're gonna leave them fighting by themselves that's what i heard yeah somebody might have passed away and these people are all in in conflict over that or they're fighting over it okay because someone passed away or someone um is sick or ill or i feel like someone passing away is gonna cause a whole awakening for you guys or in a whole awakening or a whole um conflict a whole bunch of conflict between a group of people this could be family this could be yeah a community this could be a church an organization okay i i already said that these people they're working with a secret society these people in your family in the neighborhood in the community at your supermarkets they're not who they say they are there's not um yeah there is it's like these people are just human beings. I mean, they're just like they're just like flesh. They're not human beings. They don't have souls. They they just have like this meat suit, but they have dark aura. They have weird looking eyes or dark eyes or just you just know when you're dealing with this dark, sort of dark energy, okay? This this entity that has taken over these vessels on earth, okay? As you want to say it. Yeah somebody's coming towards you guys to reconcile to reunite this person feels like they still love you it's like they can't get over you the minute that you walk away from a certain individual get a divorce or separation or cut somebody off completely somebody comes into your life that was meant to come in you guys get a huge sudden payout or pay, payment of money a huge amount of money you guys have been waiting on okay yeah but these people are very obsessed with your energies okay because you guys were meant to be in the public eye becoming famous 
You guys have an auntie that's under investigation and under spiritual judgment. Your auntie has been body snatched or body hacked, so that's not your auntie anymore. Yeah, karmic masculine as well. This person's not who you who you think they are. These people are not who you think they are. Yeah, they're using confusion spells on you guys. Okay, yeah, they 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 really never meant to help you guys. Their mission was to be um, yeah, their mission what their mission was to take you guys out before you guys awakened. But now they can't do it because you guys woke up. So now their mission is to try to confuse you, poison you, okay? Have you self-sabotage yourself, block your spiritual gifts. Keep going on nature. Keep meditating. Keep transmuting energy because they don't, they're don't. they not even close. You got a legion of angels and ancestors, okay, with you on this journey, okay? And now they're, doing, they're using devices to try to mess with you, to try to ruin your life through your devices, through your computers, through your online websites. Wow. Yeah, they listen to us everywhere we go or everything we do. They listen. They listen through our, listen, they listen through your social medias. They listen through um, your computers, your TVs, your devices. The watchers are always watching us and listening. That's creepy. But you guys are always protected by Archangel Michael. Yeah, they are projecting fear. They've been projecting fear. Yes, they're going to get caught for using your information for some of these people. This auntie, this family members, these family members, they're going down. Auntie, cousin, uncle, um, mother or father figure. They they've been sister and brother, this whole family. They're in a, they're involved in a secret society and they're projecting anxiety and fear. Okay, this is their reptilian agenda. I cannot make this up. This ex was involved with them. Okay, so be mindful. Jealous sister betrayed you. Yeah, uh, they're going to prison or they're all in mental prison because they fight, They figured it out. You know the truth, you're a healer. Yeah, you're a powerful healer, earth angel. You're meant and destined to meet a powerful person and work with them in this lifetime. Yep, working with them, um, working with the masses, that's what I heard. Yeah, major tower prison. Stolen money suddenly paid back to all the star seeds on earth. You guys have a lot of abundance. You guys are royalty. Wow, letting go and healing for self-love, having a lot of dreams at this time, so am I. A lot of spirit owls are with you guys all over the world. The spirit owls are in effect here. Sudden turn of events, justice in your favor, okay? So with the movie um, Medusa, okay, with the movie Medusa, Perseus, the Clash of the Titans, there was a golden owl that sees all and that was always with Perseus. He was a demigod, so it kind of guided him through this journey, okay, to defeat these entities or defeat these demonic energies that want to rule earth or rule your lives, okay? Huge financial payout is coming for some of you guys. You guys are in um, this energy of consistency, Okay, you guys are consistently working, consistently transmuting energy, consistently um, making better decisions for your lives and cutting people out that no longer serve you. So this consistency is really bringing you guys a major blessing and breakthrough. Yeah, continue to do this. It doesn't matter if they laugh, if they, if they clown you guys or they laugh at you guys or they call you crazy or they stare or they project their energy of darkness. You guys are a beacon of light no matter what. You guys are, are made of... of stardust that's what i heard you guys literally are made of stardust you guys are star seeds okay chosen people okay in this community in this area where you live it's like um they're triggered by your angelic presence that's all i'm gonna say and their mission on earth was to watch you to destroy you to set you up to do all sorts of things to you guys, but that's why you got to be careful who you are dealing with, who you're listening to, who you're taking advice from, who, yeah, who you're spending your time with, who you're inviting in your life, who you're sharing your, your energy with, and please don't give anybody your, um, don't give anybody your zodiac chart, please don't give nobody your zodiac chart, a reader does not need to have your zodiac chart to give you a reading, a reader only needs your sun sign. I don't know who that's for, but somebody needed to hear that. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. Prosperity definitely lies ahead for you guys. You guys have important communication coming. My beautiful fire signs. Your emotions could be running high. I heard Patty or Patricia. Renee. Andy. I also heard Sandy or Sandra, Sandra, Leslie, Katie,
I also heard honey. Somebody's name could be honey, or some of you guys are um, drinking honey, or some of you guys need to um, start taking teaspoons of honey because that clears out your throat chakra. If you guys feel like your throat chakra is being affected, drink some honey. Give some honey to your ancestors on your altars. That's what I heard. Brings in prosperity. Surrender to the divine. Balancing spirituality and practicality. I heard Joanne or Jonah. Joni. I also heard Jasper. Your hard work is definitely paying off, guys, okay? I heard Kareem. Kareem or Kareem. Kareem. Nothing will come out of this situation. Marcus or Demarcus. Danita or Denisha. Danita. I heard Andre or DeAndre. Donnie. Angelo or Angela. Angie. Okay, there you go. Show the world the uh, real you guys. Okay, show the world the real you. Confidence is your key to success. And a new romantic cycle is going to begin. But the main energy here is this. What do you guys need to release? Okay, watch your spending. Watch what you're purchasing. I mean, watch what you're, watch your spending and watch what you're eating. Watch where you're going to eat. What you're eating is very important and your spending is very important. And who you're letting in your energy and who do you need to release. And this is the main energy and the message for you guys, fire signs. I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some sort of clarity in a situation that you are seeing past the veil. That you are living in a supernatural earth. And that there are all these types of entities around us and different people. Okay? Yeah, so protect yourselves. You're dealing with the watchers. Okay, yeah, you guys could be finding feathers, significant, feathers could be significant, this is how you know you walk with a legion of angels, and they're always around you, okay guys, I love you guys, thank you so much um, for all your love, comments, or any donations that you send to the channel, may God bless you tenfold, till the next time, my loves, if you need a personal reading, I still have my video recorded readings for $25, reach out, my email's down below, okay, thank you so much, I also have two questions for 10, and a phone call reading. Till the next time, my loves, namaste.